Tampa as uh, dealing with those calm and quiet weather pattern for the next few days. We have that high pressure system situated over the Gulf of Mexico. That is going to cause us to have breezy conditions and you're able to see all those clouds and rain just avoiding this high pressure system as we head into the next few days. So expecting a fairly calm week with warm conditions lasting at least through the rest of our work week. Back to you. The votes are in. Coming up, who you picked as the best of the RGV for breakfast tacos. Christmas carols are going with Christmas classics, a special concert that you're not going to want to miss. Thank you for staying with us. And this week, NBC 23 is spotlighting the top three restaurants in our best of the RGV breakfast tacos edition. Our Sonia Hill introduces us to the restaurant you nominated as the best. That's Curbside 88 Street Food. <music> We started with one taco. With a taco day. And in the last year, they've grown to offer a variety of breakfast taco options. Chicharron and salsa verde. We have barbacoa. We have um, papa con huevo, chorizo con huevo. We have it here and we can make it. We'll, we'll do it. And at Curbside 88, they know good food takes time. Everything we do fresh by order. So that's what we do. Take a little bit longer on orders, but it's fresh cooking everything fresh and going the extra mile to create their signature homemade flavor. Nos tomamos el tiempo cocinando con con ingredientes, le echamos el, el ajo, le echamos comino, le echamos sal. A probar que esté que esté buena la comida, entiendes que siempre siempre poner el un sazoncito para que no que no sea tan comercial la comida, que sea más más casera. casera. Que sea más como homemade. You know, also that we want it to be more like the food that our parents would give us. According to the Solises, that's what keeps people coming back for more. We see someone new coming in here, you know, it's a person that's going to come back. You know, I mean, no que me crea mucho, 
serious. I'm being serious. I'm like, they're like, it's one new here. And I'm like, ma'am, I'm gonna see you again. And we do, because I think we we put on in a lot of work, you know, to to our tortillas, to our food. We have people that come in every day. So if you're looking for fresh food with homemade flavor in Westlico, head to curbside 88 Street Food, where the food is a labor of love. Congratulations to Curbside 88 Street Food and the other two finalists, the Toddle Inn and Ramsey's Tacos and Tequilas. And thank you for taking part in our Best of the RGB series and nominating these businesses. I think the keyword is homemade. That's for sure, especially with the tortilla, because a lot of oh, those uh, places so don't have the homemade tortillas, and I think that makes a big difference on whether or not it's a good taco or not. See, how do you like your tortilla? I like flour. Yeah, but do you like them paper thin? You know how some tortillas are thick yes. and fluffy and I, soft? Yes, I like them soft and uh, thick and fluffy. Thick and fluffy. Mm -hmm. I like them paper thin. I guess okay. that's why I can also have like two tortillas. Oh, you're having two of them. Yeah. I see. Yeah, because mm -hmm. you're a fan of the two tortillas, and which I've never had one with two. That's corn or flour, but again, they have to be super thin. I see. Do you like corn at all? I love corn. Okay. Actually, I prefer corn okay. over flour. Okay, flour but, for me all the way. But beans is like a must in all of my tacos. Uh, I'm not a fan of beans. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to have the beans. <laughs> all righty, now so switching gears, the McAllen Girl Scouts have challenged McAllen Mayor Javier Villalobos and the city to a sock off. The teams are collecting fuzzy socks in hopes of making Christmas warmer and cozier for nursing home residents starting now through December 19th. You can drop off sock donations in the lobby of McAllen City Hall. Just look for a giant gift box. And who doesn't love Christmas music, right? I know I do, and so does Danielle, our lifestyle host and executive producer, Danielle Banda. Good morning to you. So tell us all about this so we can hear about all the great music here in the Valley. That's exactly what you're going to want to do right now. You're going to want to hear these Christmas classics. I mean, the countdown to Christmas is literally on, and that means there's plenty to do with the family this holiday season here in the Valley. Many events of which, yes, include good old holiday music. And I'm so excited to invite you to RGV Christmas, a Christmas carol concert. But here, okay, you're going to be able to indulge in your favorite Christmas classics with a twist. We're talking Joy to the World, sung by choirs in English and Spanish. Besos en el Rio on guitar and they've even got Go Tell It on the Mountain, but on the banjo, so unique. It's definitely a very, very cool experience, and it's all free of charge to attend, so I mean, anyone can come on out and have a great time. Plus, if you get there early, you're gonna be able to snag a seat right up in the front because it's first come, first serve. This is an I'm Dreaming of an RGB Christmas Carol concert, and there's even gonna be delicious cookies and hot chocolate. What else could you ask for, right? So if that sounds like a party to you, and it sure does to me, then be sure to visit the website. It's there on your screen. Get all the details on this wonderful night. It's happening this Friday, 7 in Harlingen at the Harlingen Municipal Auditorium. I just love this because I've been playing Christmas music for a while now, you know, since Thanksgiving. I know mm -hmm. I'm sorry to disappoint you, Chris, but, <laughs> but you know, so I think this is exciting. How do you guys feel about this? Christmas carols. Well, I was sold at cookies <laughs> and hot chocolate, so I'm, I'm going to be there for sure. Okay. <laughs> Same here. Hot chocolate. <laughs> this time of the well I don't know what these temperatures oh, these temperatures and <laughs> make the, you know a little bit warmer temperatures some hot chocolate may be too hot but hey you know I've started December 1st listening to the Christmas tunes <laughs> we're there for the music yes yeah, yeah. And we, the banjo they brought back so like all these memories growing up in Tennessee oh, wow so, uh, country that's, girl that's, huh uh -huh. a little bit a little yes. bit all right. <laughs> Southern like country Christmas <laughs> yes. yeah I love it thank you Danielle. yeah it's gonna be fun yeah. <laughs> and talking about weather earlier it's going to be warm. Yes, it is going to be warm. But take a look at Chicago. They are dealing with cold conditions, temperatures at 38 degrees, so it could be worse. I know a lot of winter Texans are here in the valley escaping.